Hey guys, it's Mark from JazzTarsons.net and welcome to this quick vlog. Uh, literally, I shot a video 10 years ago. There's a red background and I'm, I'm much younger. I was young and foolish. And I talk about using a metronome on 2 and 4. So I wanted to do a quick redo because over years of teaching, you know, there's things I learned. And I just want to show you how to set it up and um, how to get going. People say, hey, my metronome does not have a 2 and 4 setting. It does not need a setting like this. So all you have, actually, you can't even see my face. <laughs> Let's do it this way. All right, how about that? Ha <laughs> um, If you want to play a tune at 100 BPM, which is this. A one, two, go, three, four. Just blues, right? clicking on all beats. One, two, three, four, one. All right. So the trick for putting your metronome on two and four is to use a metronome that has a single sound. Very important. So it's not like click, clock, 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 click, clock. Like you don't want to do that. And you will set it at half of the tempo you're targeting to play. So I wanted to play at 100. Now I'm setting up at 50. What's going to happen in my ears only, in my minds only, is that click is now the beat two and the beat four of every bar four four. That's pretty simple, right? But it's tricky to get going. So let me show you how you do it. You will say one in between two clicks. See, when my finger's up, it's clicking. And when my finger's down, it's not clicking. So I'm going to say one between click. One. See if you can do this with me. One, 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 one. So we're saying one exactly in between the two clicks. And then simple, you say one at first and then you say two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, a two. And then you say one, two, three, four, and then you'll be aligned. Let me demonstrate the first time. One, two, a one, two, three, four, play. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So you see, it's it's pretty it's pretty obvious when I do it. This is a tool to help you use a metronome, but to have it give you less of the time. So it's not spoon feeding you every beat. It's not like click, 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 one, two, three, four. It's only one click, three, click, one, click, three, click. Extremely, extremely good tool to practice your standards on, extremely good tool to practice um, uh, comping, improvising or anything. And then when you sense it's, oh, I'm soloing, it's like the metronome is slowing down. It's not, you are speeding up. That's a great tool. It's amazing. Also, you'll notice in jazz when drummer go to chink kicking, chick kicking, chick. So the, the hi hat in three and four four will be clicking on two and four typically. So it's a really good tool. If you can follow this guy, it means you can play with the drummer well. Even if the drummer speeds up or slow down, you can still lock it in and solo on that. So let me just take a minute to do this a bit faster. This is 72, meaning that the actual tempo is um, uh, 144. Here's uh, blues again. Here's a sound. One, two, one. Let me do this properly. A one, a two, a one, two, the three, four. this. 
to make this video clear. So make sure you know how to do this. Make sure you can repeat it with me and set up yourself at two and four. It's not easy. It's like learning to walk or crawl and walk and run. But eventually there's more, more and more ways to do that, more tools that you can learn to use uh, that I've shared on the vlog over the years. So if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments here. Uh, it's pretty obvious, but um, this concept is strong because it can go really far. Uh, when you play on fast tempos or using it in different manners, you're using it in three, four, etc. All right, on that note, I'm Mark from jazzguitarlessons.net. Improve your jazz guitar playing with a real teacher, and I will see you soon on the website. Take care. Bye.